This is usually where get it into Caitlin Young and good things happen as she finds Alexis Burpo for the lay-in as the racers snags the rebound, looking to push ahead to Buffelli. She can't handle it. Here come the racers the other way. Macy Turley for three, and it is good. Changes now Kaysen Connor, the sophomore guard. She's checked in. Bria Sanders-Woods checks in. She gets the offensive rebound to McKay to knock down the three. Advocate for a block <laughs> shot than the shooter. Sanders-Woods with the jumper. Her first basket of the game. Turnovers, but it has been a minute here since they have been able to put the ball in the bucket. Yeah, they've had some quality looks. As, There's Caitlin Young, Young to end and the drought. Transition. A couple quick change of directions, that behind the back dribble and then nice finish on the tail end of it as Burpo gets in the lane for a nice finish. Played them tight the first quarter. In the second quarter, they got outscored 21 to five and just kind of hit a lull as McKay kind of breaks it there. And Kaysen Connor now at five, dribbles to the middle. Little floater gets it to go. Yeah, it was a nice play. It just didn't work out for a shot for Turley, but she faked like she was setting the back screen, trying to get her defender to hold and help. Uh, with Young coming off and at the last second. As you and I just to 14 as we are up against our media timeout at the next whistle. Case and Connor for three on the wing. And yeah, for sure. I mean, like you just said, 11 field goals for the Racers. Uh, you and I has 11 field goals this, this quarter. As Hannah McKay gets it into Caitlin Young for the Racer, this 18 point deficit. Turley whips it over to Briley Pena for three. Pena knocks it down. Ball to go in. Yeah, I mean, they just play so hard, and they're so long across the board on that defensive end. That, like oh. you said, just nothing comes easy. 